Hello everybody, how's it going? So today I basically just got a video on a bunch of new airdrop news and some things that you do actually have to take action on. So let's just get right into it. So Tenzer, I did not make a video on this, but Tenzer has just finished season three and they did say that they are going to be releasing their airdrop in the next coming days on the 8th, April 8th, so about a week from now. And it's going to be very similar to how Blur did their airdrop with the NFT boxes. And then you open the NFT boxes and then you get an equivalent of the Blur token within the NFT boxes. So this should be coming up very well. It is coming up very soon. So hopefully you guys qualify for that and get some uh, money out of that. Next thing, Parcel also just ended season three and they are currently doing an overall check slash audit on the uh, entire leaderboard to see from like Sybils or self referrals and stuff like that. So I did make a, I did make a video on this. So for the people that are farming this with me, we should be getting our airdrop very soon. Because if you go to their page right here, it says points audit in progress, and they said it'll take probably about a week. So very similar to Tenzer on how they have it on the eighth. But another thing to note here that they will be having a second airdrop and it says right here towards the next airdrop end of Q2 2024. So it's not going to be that much longer, maybe just a couple, couple more months for their next airdrop. So will I do more parcel? Like will I farm for parcel like season two? Maybe not, not sure yet. We'll see how this airdrop uh, pans out. And as you can see, I'm top. 15k rank so pretty decent but um yeah that's pretty much it for parcel and i do have a note here on jumper we made a video on this not too long ago explaining how to use it and if you guys did you could go over connect your wallet and go to jumper profile and they had a hidden xp feature this entire time that they've been keeping track of so this is just good to like I guess know how much you're using jumper compared to other people um i have like roughly like 50k volume on jumper and i have like 300 xp so pretty decent uh next thing we got here is that wormhole uh or sorry magpie actually is air dropping some w some wormhole tokens to people that have used the magpie um application and i believe you need at least like five thousand worth of volume in order to be eligible but it doesn't hurt oh you don't even need to connect your wallet you could just paste your wallet in here to check eligibility uh see if you guys get anything from there you maybe maybe you do maybe you don't and uh next thing is wormhole is air dropping tomorrow which is probably one of the most anticipated airdrops in recent times at least just because of how like big it's actually going to be so as you can see here the claim is 11 30 a.m utc i i would probably advise like not financial advice obviously but i would probably advise to wait a bit because there's usually a lot of like scam uh links and everything and you never know if something could go wrong with the actual claim itself the network could go down who, who knows right so this is happening tomorrow this time uh, make sure you only take information from official sources see right there that is not an official source you have to go make sure you go to the right there you go make sure you're always on the the right twitter and everything and uh next thing here we have prism so they a lot of airdrops a lot of airdrops coming up in april uh along with uh, ZK Sync might actually come in April too, but we don't know that just yet. But on to Prism here, they do have an airdrop. I don't know exactly. Oh, I believe you need to be staking to their delegator in order to do it or in order to be eligible. But you just connect one of these, whichever I checked all my wallets and everything. And then you verify. And if it's eligible, then you'll connect it over to your Prism address. And it's very simple how they do it and it's very straightforward so you won't even have to worry about that the last couple things here i just want to talk about uh something over here on merkley and that is their what's it called uh airdrop for polyhedral so they did end up merkley ended up having a allocation like um 
a separate allocation of the ZK token for Polyhedra. And you could check on their main site here. As you can see, I'm over here in Polyhedra. Go read the terms. And then you could check your wallet. And then you could fill this in here. And surprisingly, um, my eligibility for Polyhedra was actually four times higher for the, the Merkley allocation than the main airdrop, right? So if I were you, I'll definitely take a look into this because it's, I mean, if you use Merkley, or use polyhedra on Merkley, then hopefully you should qualify because you only needed to do like i think three transactions to qualify for at least some but if you did did end up using it quite often then you did get a pretty good allocation like maybe like three four hundred dollars worth so that's not bad and another thing i would like to touch here is hyperlane now has their token bridge right i haven't done a video on hyperlane yet but i will be doing a full guide very soon but as you can see here, they do have their token bridge. So you could swap between, or not swap, sorry, but bridge between a couple different uh, mainnets here. And I realized that the fees actually aren't too bad. Like um, going from Optimism to Base was, I believe, $1.70. And then Optimism to Arbitrum was like $1.50 for fees. And like that that's it. So like, to farm some volume on hyperlane if you're trying not to like do those like hard uh what's it called with the injective with the celestia if you don't want to convolute it too much and only be on like the l2s then that have eth on it then this is a good way to definitely uh get some volume up and it is through hyperlane and personally, if Polyhedra had their own allocation for Merkley, I know CC2 has been talking about Hyperlane for quite some time now and has made a lot of tweets on it. So this is just a lot of speculation on my end, but could they have their own token allocation? Possibly, or could there, it could it be like a separate or like a criterion, not criterion, but like multiplier in a sense for uh, Hyperlane's future airdrop? It could, it could definitely be so. I, I suggest at least interacting with this a little bit, just like as a hedge, obviously. But I mean, that's pretty much all I got for today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave it below in the comments. I try to respond to every single question or comment that comes in. And sorry for not a lot of videos uh, recently. I've just been really busy at college, but we should be getting some more videos uh, consistently. So, don't worry about that, but have a good one, guys. Peace.